I was listening to Eamon Ryan in that press conference today and he said it a couple of times in the last couple of weeks. We've been so focused on agriculture, agriculture, because there was such difficulty um, getting agreement there. But he said transport. Transport is the one that's going to be difficult to implement. He talked about a 50% um, cut in emissions in transport. He right. talked about fundamentally changing how we all live our lives, you know, out of the car, onto public transport, 15-minute towns, mm. get used to carpooling. Are you ready to share your car with somebody? Well, I wouldn't mind I, I, if I could get the train. There's no train to Donegal, uh, there's no train to Ackle, and there's no train to an international airport. So I don't know where we're going to get there unless we're going to go on the cycle lanes, which are now all over Clonsky. I, I, we're going back, so I'm not too sure about that. I think that's kind of fantasy. And I sometimes think that he is a philosopher, and he's a very fine philosopher, but he's not a realist. And I think the 25% um, reduction is absolutely ridiculous. And he he forgets at his peril that this is an agricultural country and that the farmers are not going to go for this and neither are the politicians because they're, most of their constituents live outside um, the Red Cow Roundabout. And, you know, we are not the USA and we are not China. We are one of the finest, finest growers of food and meat in the world. So and what? we're the finest exporters of it. So do we you think six... we should have cuts in agriculture at all? Do you think we should oh, make yeah, any yeah, difference? Of course, any yes, of course we should make an effort, but 25% is absolutely ridiculous. There are 6 million cows in Ireland. They're in Brazil. They are going to actually extend their herd by, by about 23 or 24 million by 2030. So we're going to end up, we're actually going to end up importing meat because there has to be a call of the national herd if this is to happen. Because, because those other emissions, countries are yes, going many of to emissions are for, are deal with our emissions the way we will. Yeah, I think the whole thing is, it's like I was reading in The Guardian today a brilliant article about the deforestation of Brazil and how the deforestation in the last year had been great than have they deforested seven times the size of London or 13 times the size of New York. And while I understand that in the deforestation of trees, at the same time, we have Irish farmers, you know, in our land looking in at that and being kind of nearly paralleled with that lunacy. Mara Louise, that is are, lunacy. We right, are we right to compare ourselves with the laggards that are but in Brazil? Pat, like, is that being, who we want to compare ourselves to? But we to? are being compared in the sense that 25% on an island the size of Ireland is crazy. And I have to stand up for the farmers. It's not going to happen. And if I was a farmer, I would say no to it.